Hey guys, uh, good morning or whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, listen, I want to go over uh, just a couple things with you, okay? Now, uh, for your written final, as I've been telling you, you're going to have to cost out some things, right? So, let me just give you, this is going to be a brief lecture, and I think this is more information than lecture for you, okay? First thing, you're going to need how to cost out percentages. Do you guys understand that, right? And so, uh, also, you're going to need to cost out material or, or food items. Make sense? So, I'm going to run through all these things real briefly with you today and hope it helps you, okay? So, um, going back to one of the earlier lessons, remember the 50-pound bag of flour, if you guys can remember, cost $17.50, right? So, that math would have been this, okay? It would have been the seventeen fifty, dollars right? Divided by 50, okay? seventeen fifty, which represents what I paid for the flour, right? I'm going to divide that by 50 because it's a 50-pound bag, Okay? You're going to come up with uh, 0.35, I believe. But let me do that again. 17.5 divided by 50 equals 0.35. Okay? So that means that 0.35 is what every pound costs because I divided by 50, right? Which would represent it's 50 pounds. So I would have to express that in the same amount that I divided by. So the money was seventeen fifty. I divided by fifty, which represent pounds. So that answer by dividing that seventeen fifty by the fifty, it's going to give you point three five. So what it's telling you is that each pound is going to be point three five, right? And with that information, the next thing I'm going to do is divide that by sixteen. Well, why? Well, because it's going to tell me once I know what a pound costs and I divide that by 16, it'll tell me what each ounce costs. Make sense? So when I divide that 0.35 by 16, I'm going to get 0.021875. Now, a lot of you might have wanted to round that. I'm going to leave it just like that because it's a true expression. Okay, so what that tells me that each ounce of that flour costs 0.021875 an ounce. So if I asked you, okay, the recipe calls for six ounces, I leave that number right there in the calculator, right? Then I go times six, since the recipe called for six ounces, which means that now the six ounces of flour actually costs 37 and a half cents or 0 0.375. I'm going to leave it just like that at 375. Some of you would have rounded to 36, but unless, as I told you in a previous uh, video lecture, unless you've been instructed to round up or down, leave it in its true expression. Okay. Make sense. Okay. Now, so you did that. Now I'm going to do another one real quick with it, with, with a liquid volume. Okay. So, uh, Let's just say um, I need some, uh, this is going to be the most apple juice, expensive apple juice in the world, okay? But um, let's just act like apple juice costs $9.99 a gallon. Can we do that? Apple juice costs $9.99. Hey, the golden apples. For, uh, <laughs> okay. $9.99. Uh, Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents a gallon. So what's our math, guys? We're gonna take the nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, correct? Nine point nine nine, which is nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Right? And we're gonna divide that by what? I said it's nine ninety-nine a gallon. So so here's where that bridging goes in at. Remember, ideally, I turn everything into ounces because that's what most portions are, right? So, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take that $9.99, guys, 
And what I'm going to do is divide it by how many ounces are in a gallon, which represents a gallon, right? So that's 128. So if I take the nine, uh, 99 and divide it by the 128, oops, oh my, let me do this again. 9.99 divided by 128. Look, you're going to get that it's cost um, every ounce of that is 7 cents or 8 cents if you round it up because I came up with 0 0.0780, okay? So a lot of you would have rounded that 0 0.07, which is 7 cents because the 8 behind it, you would have rounded that to 8. Um, for this math, we're not going to do it. Give straight uh Expressions, okay? So that's what each ounce costs of the apple juice. So watch this. Hey, I need a cup of apple juice. How much is that? Well, I'm going to tell you how much it is in cost, not what I would sell it for. So at this point, I know this 0 0.0780 is still sitting up there. And I know that represents one ounce because I divided that gallon by 128, right? So now I'm going to multiply that same number that's expressed there. I'm not going to... Make it be eight cents. I'm going to take that, right? And I need a cup of apple juice and, and multiply by eight because a cup has eight fluid ounces, right? Okay. So once I do that, guess what? That cup of apple juice now costs me 0.624, right? Or 62 cents. You guys get it? This is how we cost. And what you'll do is go to each menu item, do that for each ingredient, right? Get the real cost. So you break it down to what it is in ounces or, or whatever it is. You break it down by the cost, right? You break your ingredients down, cost them out, then go to your recipe. And there's, oh, it's six of those. Then go and do that math. Go to the next item. Do that math. And at the end, you add up all the items, right? And that's what that particular recipe costs you. And that's how we cost out, you guys, from a money standpoint. That's part, yeah, uh, that's part two of the lesson I forgot. Okay, look, look, you guys, I'm back to that percentage thing, okay? I'm going to make you uh, calculate, like I did in your quiz, well, how much stuff do I have to buy if this is this, okay? So what I'm going to do is throw together some uh, some the ingredients and the pricing on the ingredients for the stuff you're going to price out. So... I'm going to make you tell me how much I have to purchase as purchased, right? And come up with the edible portion for the recipe. So you're going to have to cost all this out, guys. Now, we've been through this, right? So just real quickly, if I have a whole amount of something or how I bought it or the whole case, that's the whole that's as purchased, right? The edible portion is a smaller amount after trim. Am I right? Or after waste. So, edible portion divided by the whole equals the percentage, right? So, if I gave you the yield percentage on something, right? To come up with your edible portion, if you know what the whole thing is, right? And you know what the yield percentage, you multiply across. Don't forget to move the decimal point on the percentage. And it will give you what your edible portion is. So remember how the triangle works. I tried to go over it again with you on yesterday. Whatever I'm solving for, I cover up that part of it. Whatever I'm trying to find out, that's what I cover up on the triangle. And the other two is what does the math to find out what I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for a percentage, you know, it's the top in the... It's the edible portion in the whole, right? Or as purchased, excuse me. Same thing, you guys. Um, or whichever I'm solving for, it's the other two. So just remember that as you do that. So you're going to have to tell me how much you got to order, right? Then you're going to cost it out because I'm going to tell you how much it cost it, right? You're going to cost it out. Then you're going to cost out your recipe, okay? I don't need you to do the... Divide by the 35 or whatever food cost percentage. I'm not asking you guys to do that. I'm just asking you to cost the recipe. I didn't ask you to determine what the selling price would be on any of it. Just cost out what you have in it, okay? And how much you have to buy in order to execute this recipe correctly. 
All right. I want to remind you, I graded a couple of these quizzes already, you guys, that you turned in, and I want to give you a heads up on something. Remember this. Just just remember this. Um, I'm not going to call a couple of your names who did this, but uh, I see you were so close, but you got to think past something, and it's this, okay? If Remember the thing with the pies, I think, the other day. Each pie had eight slices, right? I think I'm saying this right. Um, if I get eight slices out of pie, and I need 42 slices, right? How many pies do I need? Well, I would say, well, five times eight is 40. So you can't tell me five and a half. There's no such thing as a half pie. That means you would have to make the extra one, the six, right? To get those two extra servings out of it. Now, you're going to have six servings left over, right? But you, the answer would be six, you guys. Now, on that other thing today where it was uh, on your quiz number four, right? I mean, on quiz number three, excuse me. On answer number four, go back and look at that because that's exactly what I'm talking about right now. If I needed 14 point something, oh, I can't even remember the equation, but 15 was going to be the correct answer. Although what you needed was 14 point something. You can't get the 14 point something out of 14. You got to go up to the next one to if it exceeds the, the next whole amount that you have. I hope that makes sense to you, right? But think about with the pies. I need 42 servings. Eight comes out of a pie, right? Five times eight is 40. Oh, I've got to have a six pie just to get those other two servings. You guys remember that or she'll come up short all the time an item. Okay? And with that said, all's good. Uh, and, um, oh, yeah, on your, on your final tomorrow, you guys, Make sure you have it in before midnight or it's not going to be accepted. You know your quizzes. And by the way, you guys, I don't, uh, the system locks you out. It's not me. You know, you have pretty much on your regular homework assignments, you have 48 hours to turn it in um, from the day, from the start of the day. So that's how we've been doing things. And then with all those assignments I gave you guys uh, over the weekend, really, to turn in quite a few things. So listen, with all said, as a whole, you guys have done pretty good with this okay um so with that uh just go through the videos and make sure that you understand how these little things work okay and um so anyway yeah good luck with all that i'll talk to you guys later